Um, so uh, we started our business um, in a shed in my mum and dad's garden and we had 200 quid and we decided we were going to uh, redesign the fashion industry. We wanted to use natural materials like organic cotton. Um, we wanted to use renewable energy instead of fossil fuels. We wanted to have a factory that was not very wasteful and we wanted to, everything to be quite accessible. What's crazy, I think, about it is when we tried to do each one of those things, everything got more expensive. And the solution wasn't just like, why don't we ask everybody to kind of do a bit less or pay a bit more? And we realised quite quickly that we could use technology to solve some of these problems. And along the way, we needed a real low-cost option for us to be able to get computing in and around a place. And then someone said, oh, you should check out Raspberry Pi. What's that? It's a computer and it costs 20 quid or something, and it's the size of a credit card. It's like, okay, that can't be true. Only two of those things can be true. <laughs> Which two is it? We got one and it just blew our mind because there's no limit to what we could do with it. And so today on the site, I think there's well over 100 Raspberry Pis on site, and they do all sorts of different stuff. Control displays, act as servers, control lights, process raw data, control machines, interface with people, you can use a Raspberry and just get computing in a place very, very efficiently. In the world today, there's a lot of issues around the environment and sustainability which feel like compromises. You want to do your bit, but it, it costs more. What this kind of technology allows us to do is make things cost less because you can create these massive efficiencies through technology and that's what enables you to be able to afford to do the things that you want to do with sustainability without having to compromise on price.